Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia and welcome. <laughs> this is a little incy bincy beautiful corner in the corner of the world and I'm just here to share with you guys this beautiful Bratz doll-esque look. Guys, I would really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe if you already like what you see, if you already like this look. If you like my earrings, my jacket, or my dress, you can also like, comment, and subscribe. Comment on anything you'd like. I just really was trying to get on board with the Bratz challenge because I just want to, to do it. I'm just gonna go. You guys can just like enjoy the video. So watch on. <laughs> My rat's inspiration came from these photos. So all these four photos is going to inspire the look that I create and hopefully I do good. Let's start the brats transformation. So the first thing I'm going to do is my hair. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a ponytail in my country we say we're just gonna put your hair in two we should only worry about what the front look like that's what's important the front's important the back isn't okay I'm just going to deal with each section one at a time oh, yeah, therefore the girl in the photo she has her pigtails all up high up here now I mean I could get my pigtail up here or my ponytail or whatever you guys want to call it up here but I feel like it just looks a little juvenile I would prefer my pigtail to be like low sleek and sexy versus high and I'm just gonna spray my hair I'm going to take my Molly coconut papaya curl smoothie and I'm just going to mostly try to comb out the front portion of my hair so now I'm going to take some of this coconut milk from Nourishing. This is the activator gel. I'm just going to put this around my edges. So now that that's done, I'm going to use the rough coarse side of this brush. And I'm just going to brush my hair down. Got to be ultra glue invisible styling gel. And this is the one in the black tube and it's clear. I'm just gonna use that for extra hold on the top portion of my hair. And I'm just gonna take that around my edges as well. And I'm done. I don't know about you guys, but this is it. I'm done. Gonna spend all day on my hair. I'm going to add some beeswax. This is what I have. Where my hair is concerned, do not ask me anything else about it, okay? We're moving forward. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and I did my brows because I figured I would just push on, push through, and just not worry and go straight into the makeup, which is what this video is really about. It's the makeup transformation. One eye on camera and the other off, and then we're gonna move on to the skin. I am taking this e.l.f blushing rose it's a liquid eyeshadow I'm going to use this as my base it looks like this it's supposed to be matte so I'm, just, I'm wondering if I should just blend this out with my hands seems like it's working so I am gonna go in with this fluffy brush from wet n wild it doesn't really have a name and I'm going to go into this elf palette it looks like this I'm going to go into this color called easy going it's this purple shadow right here this palette is elf opposite attracts palette I'm just going to pick up just a little bit of this at a time and I'm gonna put that into the crease of the eye I'm gonna go in with another fluffy brush this one is the Ruby Kisses tapered eyeshadow brush it looks like that I'm gonna pick up the same color and just run it in the crease same thing just different brush just trying to get that well blended this is the Farah brush I'm not sure if this is a brush from Farah to Kai I got it in my Ipsy glam bag I'm just gonna use it to blend out the edges of this just to get everything looking nice and pretty and blended I'm just gonna use that to blend out the edge. I'm gonna take this purple color here in this palette. 
This palette is the e.l.f. Matte, Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette and it's called Jewel Pop. I'm gonna take the purple color in this palette on this Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush and I'm just going to kinda deepen up the crease with it as well as kinda start my outer V, kinda define my outer V with it as well. But I think my best bet is to pack it on and then blend it out. This is how makeup pop on sometimes. Here. It just does what it wants. I'm gonna try and keep this on the outer V. I don't know, I feel like all of the purple shades that I'm putting on my lid are just blending into each other and just looking like one color. And I don't know how I'm feeling about that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back into the first purple that I went into from this um, Opposite Attracts palette and I'm just going to use it to kind of buff out the edges of what I got going on here. And then I'm going to go into this, pal this color from the It's My Ray Ray palette, this purple color. It is called, called Connie. I'm gonna go into Connie with my... So I'm gonna use it on this little angled brush from Wet n Wild. And luckily I didn't put all my foundation because look at all the fallout. I think most of the fallout is coming from Connie. I'm gonna go back in with my Luxie 243 brush and I'm gonna pick up Connie and I'm gonna see if I can deepen up the crease with Connie. I don't think there's much else I can do with this. It's looking like something. So I'm gonna go back into the first color to blend everything out, which is easy going. And I'm just gonna put it on this Farrah brush. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges. We're gonna move on. I'm going to take my um, Photo Focus Concealer and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. But let's see. I'm going to take this purple shade from this palette from uh, BH Cosmetic. It's called Nightfall. It looks like this. And this brush is from e.l.f. Looks like that. And I'm going to pick up that purple shadow from the e.l.f. Matte for Matte um, palette. And I'm going to blend that and Nightfall kind of together. Perfect. I'm getting some kind of depth. I'm not sure if I must add black. I'm gonna leave black for the last resort of making this crease a little bit deeper because it's not looking as deep as I want it to look. I have these two shimmer eyeshadows from LA Colors that I want to put on the lid and make it all nice and shiny and pretty. And I also have this NYX glitter base looks like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this glitter base, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hat. I've never used this glitter base by the way guys, so I have no idea of how to use it. So I'm going to use my precision brush from BH Cosmetic. It's the number 10 brush. It looks like that. I'm going to put down this glitter base on the lid. Hopefully it doesn't move anything around. And I'm gonna go in with the purple one. I'm going to knock some out in the cover, pick it up with this brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to stack it onto the eye. This is pretty, but I thought there would be more pigment. Oh, I guess I just need to stack it on. I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to go into the pink one now. These are so pretty. Who could have thought? That is pretty. This is beautiful. I just want a little bit more purple than pink. So I'm just stacking on the purple. Since this is mostly like a purple look, you know? I wanted something like this. Hey. 
I'm loving it. It's not perfect. It's not perfect since I'm not perfect, but it's it's pretty. So I think I'm going to go for this charcoal here in this palette. It's called Genuine. I'm gonna try and see if I can deepen up the crease of this look. I'm gonna go back in to the purple from the Matte for Matte palette and just top that off. I'm gonna put the first shade and just blend out everything. You know what? I'm okay with it. I'm quite all right with it. I just feel like the only thing I can do to put to, to, to bring some depth into the eye is use a black eyeshadow and kind of smoke it out as like an eyeliner. In the It's My Ray Ray palette, right? There's this highlighter. It's almost like white. It's this one here. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I was looking for something a little bit more neutral than that. I was kind of coming off as kind of golden. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. So this is where I'm at with this eye makeup um, look. Um, I did the cut crease, did the kind of glimmer eyeshadow look, kind of did like a highlight Thing, got my lashes on, got my brows done, and now I'm going to move on to the skin. So I've already cleansed and moisturized my face. I've put on all my serums, all my excessive amount of moisturizers that I put on my face. I'm going to use this L Poreless Primer. It looks like this. This is the one that they're comparing to the Tatcha Primer. I'm just going to take some of this and I'm just going to press it into my T-zone because that's where I need most priming anyways. And that's where most of my pores are. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go in with my Lancome Tunti Idol foundation. I am in the color 520. I've got the e.l.f. mix to match adjuster. It looks like this. This one is to darken your foundation. I'm just going to put a couple drops of it in here. Okay, so it's a little bit darker. I'm thinking I went a little too dark. So I'm going to use the yellow one to add a little bit of warmth to it and to lighten it up. I'm just trying to experiment with color right now. Hmm. That's all right. My skin is just going to look even. Am I looking brats like guys? Am I looking dull like? I'm just gonna go in and high contour and highlight my face. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter. This is in the color Deep Golden 60. I'm gonna go in with my Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just going to cut my cheekbones. Nose. I'm gonna go in with this side to blend out the under eye. I've highlighted way too much, but there's no coming back from it. I'm looking just a little crazy, but it's fixable. I'm trying this powder from Elle for the first time. It's the corrective yellow powder. I'm not sure if I need this right now, but I want to try the yellow powder. So I'm going to try this yellow powder. I'm actually gonna go in with this darker finishing powder. It looks like this to kind of tone down this mess that's on my face. I'm using the face powder from Black Radiant. It looks like this. I'm just gonna use that to kind of bronze up my skin and try to add some color back in my complexion and see if it will balance out everything else for me. I'm gonna go in with this brush from LA Colors and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. I really like it. Powder from RK by Kiss. It's just a little bit deeper than my bronzing powder. I'm gonna use this brush from LA Colors and I'm just gonna create a slight shadow. Do the same on this side. 
Just gonna go over it with my bronzer brush. I'm gonna soften it a little bit. Okay guys, now that my face looks decent enough, I'm going to add blush and then I'm gonna finish up the rest of the eye. I'm using this blush palette in Dark from Elf. And I'm gonna tap that on the cheeks. And I'm gonna try and bring it as high as I possibly can, like so. I think I kinda went ham on the blush. But I kind of like it. Okay guys, so I'm going to finish up the rest of the eye now. I'm going to use this angle brush, um, this purple color here. I'm going to go underneath the eye here, like that. So I went for a more, um, a bigger brush. Passing that color underneath the eye. That's the first color called Easy Going. I'm going to go in to the color from the Mad For Matte palette. Deepen that up. Just bring this, co this color closer to the... Guys, like I had a little runny eye situation after I tried to do my under eye um, situation. You guys probably see it. I tried to conceal it with like powder and like retouching up my blush. I just want to cry and be over with it but I'm not a quitter I'm gonna push through I'm gonna finish the lips since that's the only thing I have to do and and do some highlighter and then call it a night okay so the lips are done um, I just need to do my under eye mascara <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more makeup videos like this. Appreciate you having me. And um, yeah, bye-bye.